Hey everyone, welcome back. So let's talk about how do you cut render time from 20 minutes to about 20 to 30 seconds per clip and run on 5 to 6 GB VRAM. So here I'll change a few settings and make when 2.2 font control run on low VRAM. I'll also share a free workflow and quick tips for common errors. Make sure your Comfy UI is updated and optimized. So let's start now. Here are the model files. If you have a high-end PC, you can use the FP8 model file. Download it and save it in your diffusion model folder. For low VRAM, I tested models from Q2 to Q8 and I got the best result with Q4 KM GGUF. For me, Q4 gives the same visual quality as FP8. Here, open the workflow. Here is the graph. So let me explain it quickly so you know how it runs. I made five sections so it's easy to understand and each section has its own job. In input image, you upload your reference image. I include presets. You can select any supported when resolution. If you get an out of memory error, lower the resolution using the when 2.2 list. If you want a vertical, click swap. This way, you can pick a size that fits a low end GPU. Now let's talk about control net. In the control net video section, you can upload an already rendered skeleton or depth map video. Using other workflows to save memory. If you don't want, you can generate the control video here. Upload a video, then choose DW pose estimator for skeleton or depth anything v2 for depth bypass the one you don't need connect image hook to set control signal hook and it will generate the skeleton or depth map video for motion reference so before we move on many comfy ui users don't have microsoft visual studio build tools installed so please install it when you click modify select desktop development with c++ and in optional install all components now let's go to the models there are two nodes here one for low noise and one for high noise if you use fp8 set quantization which is equals to FP8, E4, M3, Fn fast. If you use a GGUF model, turn quantization off in the loader. For attention, choose SDP, SDP or Sage Attention if installed. Sage Attention can be faster and use less VRAM. If selecting Sage Attention in a sampling node, it gives an error. It is not installed correctly. Switch back to SDPA. If you get allocation of memory errors, increase the video block to swap value. I also use a custom cache folder so all compiled cache files stay in one place. Once the cache is warm, I can render a clip in about 13 seconds. Then comes LoRa. In LoRa, pick the latest four step LoRa for both low noise and high noise. So let's talk about text encoder. This also helps cut time. In the model section, there is a when video text encoder cache node. Select the when 2.2 text encoder model. Set device as CPU so it doesn't use VRAM. If you prefer the native text encoder, unbypass Comfy UI text encoding and clip load GGUF 
and select the GGUF text encoder Q4KM and in get text encoder name pick text encoder low VRAM. So these are the settings about text encoder. Now let's talk about sampling. For sampling, DPM++ SGE gives the best quality. For low VRAM users, LCM is faster than DPM++ SGE and often gives the same look for this workflow. Now a quick demo. Now let's talk about a quick demo. Here I have uploaded an image of a woman at the size 1792 by 2368. At this size, you will get an allocation of memory error on low VRAM. So I select the preset 480 by 832 and switch to vertical. This gives a supported size that doesn't eat too much VRAM. Here for the first test, I use FP8 for both low noise and high noise. In quantization, I pick FP8 E4M3FN fast. It speeds up render time. For attention, I choose Sage Attention. If you get errors, switch to SDPA. Video block to swap is useful if your VRAM is small. Increase it to lower peak memory and keep the speed steady. In LoRa, I use a four-step LoRa for both low noise and high noise. And for the text encoder, I select the VEN 2.2 text encoder and set the device to CPU. In control video, I have uploaded a pre-rendered skeleton video. You can also upload any reference video and connect DW pose estimator to resize to get a clean skeleton or depth video. For this test, I use DPM++ SDE, same on both samplers. So here my sample size is 480 by 832, 81 frames. It uses about 5 to 6 GB VRAM during sampling. The first sampling takes about 16 seconds. The second takes about 55 seconds. The motion follows the skeleton perfectly and the hands are correct in my test. Here I also tested a GGUF model. So I have selected the Q4KM model and disabled quantization. All other settings are the same. The first pass at 480 by 832 with two steps uses about 5 to 6 GB VRAM and takes about 21 seconds, which is faster than the 55 seconds I saw with safe tensors in my test. The second sampling in GGF takes about 33 seconds with the same 5 to 6 GB VRAM. So, comparing the results, the quality looks the same between FP8, GGUF Q4KM and safe tensors for this setup. I also tested Q8 and Q6, but Q4KM gives me the same quality as FP8 and BF16 with much lower VRAM. So you can download Q4KM and try it yourself. If I talk about schedulers, so when I switch from DPM++ SDE to LCM, I see a small boost in generation time in some runs. Load time is often shorter with LCM on low VRAM. So you can use either. Quality is effectively the same in my tests. So what does the Torch Compile Cache node do? In my when video torch compile cache block, I point the cache to a custom folder. All cache files go there, which helps me cut render time on repeat runs. Make sure 
C, C++ uh, extensions are installed correctly from Visual Studio Build Tools. So this works. Now I have uploaded a dance video. I want to extract motion as a skeleton. So what will I do? I will unbypass the DW Pose Estimator, connect the hooks as shown and keep the same average settings. I'm using the Q4KM model here at 480 by 832 size. We then use goes up a little while generating the control video and the final render, but it stays in the 5 to 6 GB range for me. So here you can see, here is the result. The model generates clothes and body parts from the prompt and keeps the face mostly consistent. So that's it for today's video. If you like this one, please subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you. Bye-bye.